it is going to be leg day. So for this week, um, we started out uh, in, in October. That was going to be our challenge. Okay. So October was our challenge month. And I wanted you to get stronger. The workouts were all about 40 minutes and they were all primarily strength. Well, I'm going to continue on with a lot of strength exercises. Today, we might go a little bit lighter and a little bit quicker. It'll be a little bit shorter of a workout. The name of the game for this challenge for November is Movember. I want you to move every single day. I don't know what that's going to look like. For some of you, I hope you're in here live with me and actually doing the workouts or you're doing them on the replay and you follow and you do the day that's posted. That's what I would love. Um, if not, I have 10 minute workouts that I've been dropping in there because maybe that's all you have time to do. So at the end of this, I am going to record another 10 minute walk. I've been doing those. You go in and do a 10 minute walk after this, add this to the end of any strength workout. All right. So what I have here is 20s, 15s and um, 12 pounds. No upper body will be used today. It's all going to be super setting and the super sets are going to look like this all strength workout, all for the lower body. It will be one set of going no equipment at all. So Tiffany, you're traveling, be no equipment. So for example, a goblet squat, legs are out. We're just going to be going down and up. Now, because there is no weight, what does that mean? Faster, more reps. So you're cranking that out as quickly as you can. That will get the high intensity up, right? A little bit quicker. Um, then you're going to go grab the weight and we're going to do a goblet squat real slow, real controlled. Um, and again, the weight that we're using, because it's only 20 pounds and we're at home, uh, and it's legs. We can go heavier on legs. Um, we'll probably go in for more reps than that. So we have a 30-second round of quick body weight, and then we go to almost a minute, 50 seconds of work with the weight. We're going to go through a series, I think, about six different circuits, all for legs. All right? Uh, all right, that's all we start. Put my hair up. So just casually jogging. I'm honestly just trying to get my legs warmed up, my muscles moving, and I'm going to jump rope. Jacks. Keep going, jumping jacks. See who's on. Michelle Curry, good morning. Jogging. I'm going to go for a jog. Woo! I'm feeling mighty fine, mighty fine. Not to brag, but did you see my son's before and after picture? He rocked that clean, dirty program. He rocked it, man. Jump rope. Come on. So we have five minutes here. How many calories can we burn in five minutes with this warm up? This is cardio. Come on. Woo! Belly button in. Run it out. Come on. You guys keep running, not shooting. I'm sad. Yeah. <laughs> 
again, 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 last time each way, go back, two, and skip, on,
Belly button engaged. We're coming upon a 30 second break. At the 30 second break, you're jogging. Come on. And bring it in. Woo! Jog it out. Next one, a little bit more cardio. It is going to be a low hop. So we're going to stay down in the squat position and hop. And you do not have to hop big. As a matter of fact, you can't even hop and get your weight off. Fake it. Fake it. You pretend like you are hopping. Here it goes. Only 30 seconds. I know people don't like this stuff, right? I was getting a lot of feedback. A lot of positive feedback. They like straight. Because no one likes to do this hard stuff. I get it. So maybe you're taking a break here. You do you. Little, little. My legs firing, burning. March it out. Woo! I'm going to hold a 20 pound weight in one arm. I'm going to step out and bring it in. This side leg work, this arm holds the weight. Tiffany, you're still going to go this, but just step out. That's to both worlds right here. This is strength. Okay? We got strength. We have a little bit high intensity work. Right? Go slow, go low. Your hand can be here. I just don't want you to lean. Okay? We do this one more time through. Bring it in. Take your break. Whatever that break looks like for you, we're going back to the low hops. Okay? Catch your breath. You do you. So right now, I'm not trying to think about time. I'm going to think about something else, right? Like, yep, I can do this. I got this. Yep. Oh, man. I'm over halfway. I can do this. I can do this. So you have to give yourself positive self-talk. You know how many people tell me I know myself, Kim? I don't have faith in myself. I won't be able to stick to that program. I know myself too well. Well, by God, you better change that self-talk. So, yeah, I know myself, and I can do this. I am capable. There we go. Hold the weight right here. Step it out. You're coming up to a 30 second break in about 20 seconds, and that's when you're going to jog. Now, if you're the person that really needs that break, you're gasping for air. You're looking at your heart rate monitor and you're way up there. Well, then you take a break. That's why you have heart rate monitors. That's why I encourage you to find out where you're at and what zone you're in. Jog it out. All right. You have to find a wall. So go find that wall. And if it's away from the TV or the screen, just listen for me. But you're doing a wall squat, okay? So it's a wall sit hold. It's a 
It's a great way to do body weight exercises when you don't have a gym. So, no bands, Tiffany. When you're at class, and I have them doing this because they want to do this. I have them clap and we sing. Come on. Lori Birdsmeyer, you know what I'm talking about. You've been in my classes, right? I'm trying to make it fun. Come on, guys. Woo, legs burning. Woo. All right. Grab your weights. We're going to do a squat stand. No press. You just squat down, stand up. Just. I'm going to use 20 pounds. Okay. I hold the weights like this. My feet are facing you. I'm going to go down. Now this first round, I have 20 pound weights. Okay. And I'm going to go a little bit slower so I control what I'm doing. You want to go down low, not half. My, my encouragement to you is if you can't get your butt down all the way, because I have knee issues, right? Then don't use weights. Build up that strength going down low without the weights. Then when you have that, you slowly add the weights. But your butt's going all the way down, pushing, bring it all the way up. You're squeezing the quadriceps. Bring it in. And catch your breath. We're going to go back to wall squats. Again, don't hold on. Tiffany, ditch the band. Find the wall. Your legs, 90 degree angle here. Okay? Oh, oh. Yep. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Let's shout out that candy that we ate. Who ate what? You guys, I give myself a star. I ate nothing. But I was afraid to eat something. Not, not from weight gain, but because I didn't buy a lot of candy. I bought one bag, and I was only giving one piece out. And I never do that. I usually buy a lot of candy and get a whole bunch out. And I know. And get one out. So I didn't eat any because I didn't want to take from the kids. That's one way to do it. All right, guys. I'm going to 15 pounds. Squat to a stand. Still not going really fast because I really, you really don't want to get hurt when you do squats. You're driving through the legs, pushing up, taking it down, pushing it up. You have 10 more seconds, then you're going to drop the weights or the band, and you are going to jog or take that break if you need it. And jog it up. The other thing when we do squats like that, you can also put a booty band right here. And that will it will give you tension primarily right here in your adductors. Adductors. Now we're doing body weight squats. What we just did, no weights, toes facing me. Shoulder width. Here we go. So we did goblet where they were out like this. You're turning the toes to me. Turn the toes to me. All the way down, all the way up. It's not a little pulse. I'm not asking you to stay down. I'm asking you to go all the way down and up. And bring it in. All right, this so next one, one weight only. It will be quick. The heaviest weight that you have, I'm going to use 20 pounds. 
your legs are going to be wide, okay? Real wide, not goblet, wide sumo. You're going to squat down like that. Come on up, squat, come on up, okay? One, go ahead, down. Hold that core in, and you got to be real careful with the swing so you're not using your back. Head stays up, right? So drop it down and squat down, holding it. Bicep curl, hold, right? Oh my gosh. Bring it in. It doesn't seem like much, but it does catch up with you. We're going back to body weight. So Tiffany, pause it for one second. Tiffany, if you double your loops and you stand on them, okay? Your legs are going to be a little bit wider. You're going to stand on them. Only grab onto one band, and you can come on up and do a squat like that. You're not going to be able to go up to the clean, but you can grab on. So you loop the band, double loop, stand on both of them, okay, in the circle, and then grab one band. You guys are welcome. Thank Tiffany. Thank Tiffany for giving us a break. We're going to body weight squats. Here we go. All the way down, stand all the way up. Stand all the way up. Stand all the way up. Up. Stand. Now you can be going faster, you can go slow. Your legs are about a little bit wider than shoulder by shoulders are about right here. You can stay here, that's absolutely fine. You can take them a little bit wider. You're just not going to sumo and you're not going to goblet. Your toes are facing me, your head is lifted. You're not up vertical, so you're going like this. Your butt is still going back. Okay, I got my heart rate up. I'm grabbing my 20 pound weight, going to the wide sumo, sumo to a clean. Tiffany, loop the peach bands, stand in both of them, grab onto one band. So it's gonna look like this for you, pulling up, okay? Ready guys, here it goes. Down. Ugh. Now you can also pause right here, right? Pause, set it down. Pause, set it down. Down. Set it down. If that's going to be safer for you, you do that.
um, that bad booty builder, the peach one, you stand in the whole thing. It's not doubled over. So with this little bit of movement, while it's not jumping, it still gets the heart rate up there. And up. squat jumps. So on that squat movement, two count, it wasn't real fast, but I got up to that heart rate zone when my heart rate was spiked. Ready? Squat jumps. We're down our hot. Hot. Let's hop. One, two, three, four. Do you have to move? No. But I get bored, right? I get bored easily. I don't have OCD, but when I'm standing static and jumping, all I'm thinking about is, oh my God, where's the timer? Where's the timer? So if I can distract myself by moving, I'm going to do it. All right. We're going to do squat step. I'm going to grab my 15 pounds, hold them up here at my shoulders, squat, step, squat, step, squat. Two count each way. Set it up. Now we're not going. We're not moving the shoulders or the arms at all. And you see me going slow because when you're moving and stepping out, I don't want to get injured and throw all my back because I have something up on my shoulders, right? So when I get it and I feel strong, then I can try to go a little bit faster. And I'm also very tired. Come on. Oh my gosh. Legs are burning. But don't think about that. I bring it in. Drag it out. Drag it out. Guess what, guys? Hello, wall. My nipple wall sits. Come on. Woo! Bring it in. Ready? Have that wall. Sit it down. Make sure that you're feet are under your knees, your butt is down, you want that angle to be 90 degrees, not 45 degrees, come on, flat, flat, keep your head back against that wall, squeeze your abdominal muscles, don't arch your back, bring it in, Woo! One way only, dumbbell squat. What? I know again. I'm so sorry. One way. I'm going to hold it just like this. Down and up. So if you look at me, my elbows are here holding the one way. 20 pounds of going down, coming up. So I'm going slow again because my legs are getting tired. When you do a leg workout with squatting and lunges, your back gets a workout. So I want to be mindful of that because I don't want you guys to get hurt. And I don't want to hurt myself. Bring it in. All right. Take your rest.
wall, sit. We're going in nine seconds. Catch your breath. Woo! Take to, to lean against the wall, not be against the wall, and fall. All right. Oh. So this month, move. Maybe a little bit shorter workouts, okay? Not the 40 minute strength. We'll start, start getting back into combining some things so you can get the most effective workout in the 30 set in the 30 seconds in the 30 minutes okay we'll still have the 10 minute little blitz that you can grab this is the month of moving one weight i'm gonna hold the 20 pound i hold it like this bring it here step the legs shoulder width take the elbows to the knees bring it up right so I'm focusing on four, not speed, okay? And bring it in. Okay. Last jog. Last jog. I'm going to get my timer, put it down where I can see it. You're jogging for 30 seconds. You got it. And take it down to the ground. Woo. Oh my goodness. So we get a lot of quadriceps, right? We're still going to work on just a little bit more. I'm going to go up to a crab. Lift, lift. Now this is the abdominals. You're swinging the legs. If you cannot hold your body up, you can go ahead and go back and do a bridge like this. Okay? Five more seconds. Bring it in, set it down. Once you step out and in, out, in. So these are abs, but you're moving your legs. It will get your hip flexors burning. Out, in, out, in. Tell you so, sister. Come on. Out, in, out, in. Tell you so, sister. Woo! Bring it in and rest. Again, this is getting your back a little bit. This next one, go ahead and lay back in that blue bridge. Bring your butt up like this. Swing the legs. 30 seconds. This is a glute, a glute bridge march. Come on. Ten more seconds right here. You got it. Bring it in. Step it out and in. Out and in. Legs are burning. 30 seconds right here. And then I'm going to have you stand up. Out. In. Out, in. Bring it in. So that was just a real quick burner and the quadriceps. Go ahead and stand up for me. March it out. So let's shake out the lactic acid. Let's go for that final two minutes. Okay? So we're gonna march. We gotta take it up to more high intensity. 
So if you can jog, go ahead and jog. Give me these last two minutes. You can do it. You can do it. We're jogging. It's a beautiful day outside. We're going to ignore the snow. We're going to be dreaming about beaches, warm weather. Keep jogging. Come on. You can do it. Jog around your uh, pool table. Jog around your pool table, your kitchen table, whatever it is. But we got to drive it home. Lift those legs. Come on. Yeah. Uh, 15 more seconds of this jog. You can do it. You can do it. Tell yourself, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Bring it in. Shake it up. So I'm going to sway side to side. And take it wide. Woo! So my knees, right? Do they feel it? Yeah. So let's stretch it out a little bit. Take it right here. And last time, I want you to hold it here. Hold it. Hold it. Get that head lifted. You put your hand down. Go ahead. Try not to lean here. Put the weight through the leg. Stretch it out. Take it to the other side. Hold it. Get that head lifted, please. And take it to the middle. And go right here. And just squat it down. Take the elbows. Open up the legs here. Not at all maybe like it. That is okay. We're going to see through the heels. Hands here. And scoop it up. Good job. All right. Good job. Good job. 34 minute workout from start to finish. Once we actually started. Here's what I want you to do. A um, couple of things. This was a burner on the quadriceps. Um, if you can have the flexibility, grab your foot and bring your foot to your butt. Do that stretch, stretch out the quad. I do not, so I'm going to go like this, and I use a towel, and I'm going to pull it toward my butt. Okay, so I want to try to get a great bend in there. You will hold it for a 30-second count. That's what you want to do there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I always focus on the hamstrings, which we need. You have, to, you have to stretch both sides. Sometimes we only stretch one side. We focus on the hamstrings. You do need to stretch the quadriceps. Same thing this side. I pull it up. Keep it in. Try not to have it go back and pull it back. So for those of you that have to leave, have a fantastic day. It is Wellness Wednesday. That was a leg strength workout. It was strength, but it did have a um, hit in there. So a little bit of a mashup to give you that little bit of high intensity, not cardio, right? A little bit of high intensity, squats, right? Body weight, so you're still doing strength work, but only with your body. You can do more reps because it's only your body weight. So it went from that to the strength. I'm gonna have you do one more time. Take it through like this. I'm gonna walk it down, take my legs out. And again, if you have to go, you go ahead and go. For those of you who can stay, you can stay and kind of stretch out a little bit more with me. I know the drill. I know what happens. This happens in real life, too. People, as I'm stretching people out, they literally are picking up their mats and cleaning up. And it's like, what? Okay, all right. Very distracting, by the way. So it's a good thing that I can't see what you're doing. But you do really want to take the time and stretch. And none of us do it, myself included. And I'm going to bring it in, take it back, do the other side, stretch out the hip flexors. This is staying at a 90 degree angle, pressing that hip down. Shoelaces are down on the other leg. Oh, the cow, and pulling it back. Ah. And nice. Bring it in, come on up, scoop it out. And that is it. So you should 